Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you very much, Dr. Fatma, for a very comprehensive introduction. And uh, I congratulate uh, uh, Dr. Altaf Jima Saab and the organizers for a magnificent and, of course, uh, enviable in, uh, you know, uh, event which has been organized by them. Uh, it's basically one of uh, the specialties. It's a specialty, you know which is basically dealing with the, the right from the core. And uh, thank you very much, sir, for inviting me. And uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, I've uh, always been honored to start my presentations with the painting of a holy verse, which is done by my daughter. So uh, today's talk is about uh, stem cells. We have many myths, and we have to talk about many facts about stem cells. I have nothing particular to disclose. If we put the word stem cells in Pakistan, so you can see we come across 1 crore 88 lakh show-offs on Google. So this huge data all doesn't comprise of the facts. You come across many, many things which are sometimes thought to be unbelievable. And they talk uh, is basically seems to be illegitimate or basically some aliens concept. So I thought it to be the right forum to talk about a very versatile and usable speciality of stem cells, how and why we use them in our medical practice. Stem cell is basically a generic type of basic cell which is existing in our body which can take role into different forms, into uh, defining into various tissues. So they are basically, uh, we can isolate them, the major sources from the bone marrow. They can be also isolated from like uh, the fat, about more than 3% of the population of our fat is having stem cells. So it's basically their basic source. So because of uh, this easy accessibility to the fat, the game is uh, coming to the hands of a plastic surgeon like me, that we can easily take out large amount of fat and isolation from the fat cells. The stem cell is very easy. My journey starts with such type of deformities you may have seen many a times. These are contour defects post-traumatic, sometime uh, post-infective, post-resorptive, autoimmune, and there are many ways to. I started uh, dealing with these patients because they were coming up to me for their contour defects. If we think about just filler, so such deformities, it's very hard to deal with them with the fillers because very large and enormous amount of filler to be put in. And that is also to be short-lived. You know, the filler is lived for about five, six months, then vanishes off. So I started filling them with fat. I took fat from uh, different areas, like lower part of the tummy, like flanks, thighs, anywhere, and taking it out with small cannula and putting the fat into the defect. So ultimately, getting the remedy done. But there was one unfortunate thing which was haunting my study, and that was resorption of the fat. Like, once the fat is injected, the contour symmetry is achieved. Unfortunately, after such some time, there was resorption of the fat. So I had to combat with that. This uh, study was published that I took fat, take the stem cells out, then call the patient back another time, and mix those stem cells with the fat in newly, and then enriched fat was the grafted in that area, and ultimately I was having a success that the, the fat was not resolved this time. This was well appreciated in the aesthetic show in US that fat is one of the best fillers because it gives you a natural feel, it's easy to harvest, having no reaction, belongs to patient's own body, it's, of course, far cheaper to take it out. Then there starts very incidental finding that the patient come up with 
contour defect as well as pigmentary issues. That was combined. And you may have seen such pictures in most of the cases like with the uh, Romberg's disease in which there was resorption of the underlying tissues and there was immense pigmentation of the overlying skin. So this time I, was, I had to combat with two things. One was the contour defect and the second one was the pigmentation. So I designed a project. The selection was done on the criteria that if there was previous skin grafting or there were pigmentary treatment taken behind or uh, there was skin adherent to the underlying facial skeleton, I excluded those. And only those patients were taken which were having no previous treatment so that I can definitely say about the control of pigmentation. So uh, what I did is basically just harvested the fat, prepared it, injected the fat in Fanning's technique, it's basically the way to inject, and ultimately got the clinical symmetry. And took the first photograph after filling up the defect so as the shadow effect must be gone. So by the time, uh, as Dr. Fatma was telling about, I had uh, 15 inventions by my name. Alhamdulillah, they are patent in Pakistan, they are patent with USPTO. And among that inventions, I have different type of cannuli for harvesting fat, they are by my name. And in the meanwhile, I was also having a homogenizer which was connecting the two syringes and fat pushing from one area to the other one. It was homogenizing and the different types and different sizes of the globules turned into a simple size. And ultimately, I invented another thing which was having a break in this part of cannula which was connecting the two syringes. And this cannula was having a break in between that was screwable to increase or decrease the cannula size which was a hole is in the center of this cannula. And that got also patented in USPTO. And uh, Alhamdulillah, that got inaugurated in Kham Khana uh, this, uh, this year. I was having inventions and they were inaugurated in my uh, alma mater where I graduated from and now I'm basically teaching in the same institute. The follow-up data of those patients, they were collected and in one year time, uh, I felt about a marvelous change in pigmentation and there was improved pigmentation and contour both so that two of the questions they were addressed simultaneously. IEDC is basically integrated uh, density of the color which was taken by a uh, sensor through, uh, through an app which showed the improvement of the pigmentation and of course uh, patients they were also having their feeling by their own look and a certain clinical uh, data was also suggesting their improvement in the contour as well as the pigmentation. Case to case variation was also noted and there was marked improvement. You can appreciate The study was also got published. And that was well appreciated. I presented in Canada, Canadian Society of Plastic Surgery. They were also done in ICAD. That was well appreciated in Japan and US too. In the meanwhile, the third journey starts. The patient coming up, they were having only pigmentation and there was no contour defect. Now I had to combat for the second question which I started on as a combo in the previous cases. Then I registered another trial because by that time I was mature enough and having good grip on the stem cell therapies. So I registered the trial and started my journey. This was just isolation of the stem cells and injecting into the skin and having an improvement in six months time Another case, another case. So the study was uh, published in another impact factor. Journal. And this study got a world award from ICEPS Forum in Greece, 2023. Then it encouraged me a lot to embark on and start with other journeys too. The complicated wounds, post-traumatic, post-burn, sometime having, you know, a different type of uh, eximatous areas, 
so they were not responding to the uh, traditional medications so i started my implication there too and by the time the fear of uh, stem cell utilization and grip on isolation was stronger more and half the wound responded well similarly the generalized hair fall if you see on the photo finder there was no increase in number of hair follicles but luckily there was increase in size and thickness of the shaft of the the hairs that increased the volume similarly if we see the aging process in the cartilage which is basically a normal process of osteoarthritis if we see there is subchondral cyst formation there is break in the continuity of the articular cartilage and these also been addressed by the stem cell therapies and if you see after 6 months time the cyst got healed the break in those areas that got well responded in the meanwhile i was having a chemical patent by my name which was for the nurturing and culturing of the stem cells into chondrocytes and that was by my name we come across many areas where post acne scars we see on the face post traumatic fine scars whatever we do we go with final stitching and we we work very hard to alleviate the scars but unfortunately they sometimes appear like this if you see this is a scar and this was basically injection of the stem cells into and this is after 2 months similarly the acne scars after about months time and then i registered this uh, trial 2 and continued with the working demyelination disorders this was a study which was in in basically collaboration with a neurologist the myelination disorders they lead to many disorders and i presented up with a baby who was unable to walk and gradually he was deteriorating we did two shots of stem cells with a 3 months gap and this is basically after first 3 months and this is another one after another 3 months still if you can appreciate his feet they turned around due to prolonged uh, bedridden and disutility or disuse of the feet similarly another boy who started walking of course with uh, just holding the uh, something and not independent so far but still he is able to walk so these are basically different areas where we have started our uh, research on stem cells and we have presented in various part of the world and still we are progressing and we are hoping for and in uh, 2023 eighth stem cell conference which i chaired in aga khan university and then we had a way forward too we started up with 12 studies together with aga khan university which are under progression in 2024 in june i'll be presenting few of my talks which are related to dermogenesis and also with the control of uh, different diseases by the use of stem cells in the armamentarium of plastic surgeon in cartagena colombia in a nutshell uh, stem cell therapy is really an emerging concept it may be a solution to many difficult issues actually healing is the beginning organogenesis is the climax so far we are in the position to synthesize many tissues but of course with the cell, one cell line like if i call off dermogenesis mean we are synthesizing dermis if we are controlling the ambience of the melanocytic activity we are controlling pigmentation 
if we are dealing with the contours, we are combating the resorption of the fat. But of course, so far, no treatment is for uh, organogenesis. But of course, in near future, we are hoping for generate different organ systems, which may be our fate too. Thank you very much for the patient learning. If you have any question, I'm ready to answer.